with us, we've got Harleen. She is the co-founder of UCIC. And in that app, it's a worldwide community in where you can request photos or information. Yes, Harleen, I have the app uh, right here. And uh, you say there's no main purpose uh, behind this app, but can you explain to us the possibilities? Yeah, so I won't say there's no main purpose, but the purpose is to be able to get real-time pictures or videos from anywhere in the world where we have our users. So the users of such an app could be very fun users, like uh, if you're going to a club, you want to know how's the vibe at the club, you can use this app to find out uh, what kind of music is playing, how many people are there, and you can get a real-time video from the club. Or it could be very serious users, like uh, we can uh, find out how pe where people are and how to rescue them in terms of natural disasters. So it's really uh, a spectrum of users that the app can be used for. What kind of surprising results did you experience from your own app? So the biggest surprise that we have received is that we are getting users all over the world. So we have only launched since a month and it's surprising to see that we have users in China, Southeast Asia, Australia, New Zealand, and even places like Iceland. So that's been overwhelming for us. So yeah, like you're saying, you need quite a big network for, uh, to make this app work. How do you create a community like that? Yes, you're absolutely right. We need a big network, but it's not the volume of users that we need. We need concentration of users so, for, so that we can build a self-sustaining system where people can ask and answer questions. So to be able to do that, we are rolling out the app city by city. And to begin with, we are concentrating on West Coast US, especially campuses like UC Berkeley, UC Irvine, uh, UC Santa Clara, etc. Thank you so much for joining us, Harleen. And if you want to be part of this community, go to the App Store and download the UCIC app.